Hello everybody. I am here in one of our tomato patches. It is time to prune these plants. I just started pruning and I thought I would show you some of what I'm doing. I just finished pruning these guys along here so they look kind of bare. If you look at these compared to this one <laughs> that I'm about to do on camera. So let me share with you what I am doing here. Now, when you look at this plant, it, it looks so lush. The leaves are nice and green and the foliage is just full and nice. However, due to our environment, living in the deep south where it's very humid and when tomatoes are being produced it can get pretty thick in the air and there are two types of diseases that affect tomato plants one set is soil borne and the other set is airborne so i am pruning to reduce the risk of the airborne diseases because when I thin the foliage a little bit, I'm going to have more circulation. I'm going to have more air circulation going uh, through the leaves of the plant. Secondly, I don't want leaves just touching the soil. We don't typically water our tomatoes overhead. It's not a good idea to water your tomatoes from overhead. So here we have some drip tape running along this row. Um, if you're watering your tomatoes by hand, if you just have a few tomatoes, try to get close to your root system here and pour your can or your jug and put the water right here. Don't pour it on the plant from the top. The soil borne issues... I'm trying to prevent a lot of splashback, like when it rains, like we have rain in the forecast tomorrow. And when a heavy rain comes down, you're going to get some splashback from the soil. If you are growing tomatoes, what you'll notice is that when a tomato plant starts to get disease, the leaves start to get disease from the bottom up. So you will see, if you see your bottom leaves just yellowing or looking speckled that is some, typically it is some type of soil borne fungal disease that you're looking at and ways to prevent that is to have some distance I like about a foot from where my leaves are going to start to the soil so I'm going to prune it up close to a foot at least so that I have that clearance and also we mulch because of that to prevent some of that uh, splashback. But really the key reason that we mulch tomatoes is because tomatoes don't like to dry out. And again, living in the deep south, it gets terribly hot and humid. These plants will dry out so quickly. If your tomato roots dry out often, if they're not watered deeply, that's going to affect your fruit production. So we mulch to keep some of that moisture in. All right, so I'm just going to get to pruning here. And all the leaves that are hanging low, I'm going to clip them off. Now, I usually prune or tomatoes at least twice. Not this heavily the second time, but after I prune them and leaves regrow, a lot of those leaves will still hang low. So I may not, I may not prune the entire leaf, but I'll cut the leaf in half. Like if I think this is too too close I'll just cut it in half so I don't have that hanging low all right so this looks good enough to me here 
So what I have left are a whole lot of suckers on this plant. Hate to remove them, but I gotta remove them. And I'll show you what those suckers are. When you look at your tomato plants, you'll see leaf, right? Leaf, that stem, and in the middle, that's a sucker. Let me find a smaller one here. I'll do this one because this is a leaf that I, ooh, okay. This is a leaf that I just pruned. So I had leaf, stem, and here's a sucker. Now I'm gonna pull this off. Now what is a sucker? Suckers grow all, the all along your tomato plants. A sucker is really another tomato plant. That's an easy way of thinking of it. It's another tomato plant. When you look at tomato plants along the stem of the plant and along the stem of the suckers, let me see if this is zoned in. There we are. You see those tiny hairs along the plant? That fuzz? Well, those, those hairs are called trichomes. And what trichomes do when they get in contact, uh, a constant contact with water or with soil, they're going to grow into roots. So later in the season, if I want more tomato plants, and I've done this uh, a number of times, if the older plants are slowing down on production and I want brand new tomato plants, I will look for a lower sucker. This is a good size and I'll put it in water, leave it on the kitchen window where it's getting some sun and these trichomes, I'll make sure it's maybe three or four inches deep into the water. And these trichomes are gonna grow roots for me. Once I get a couple roots coming off of the sucker, I'm gonna put it in some potting soil or a seed starting mix and I'll have a brand new, if that's the word, a brand new tomato plant to put in the garden. So even though these would give me a lot of fruit, right now they're going to be a hindrance to the plant if they're so low bearing. So I'm removing all of the low bearing suckers. I have another one back here. If you look at this one, I have another sucker here but it is at least 12 inches from the soil. So I'm leaving that one. Now this plant is producing already, which is nice. And that is it. I think I covered everything. So prune your plants, mulch your plants, water at soil level, um, make sure they're fed well now one of the things i did in anticipation of this stress that i just created here by the massive pruning is i fed them two days ago um, i usually don't focus on feeding plants per se as much as feeding the soil make sure that my soil is right but tomatoes i will give them a feed because i find them to be very picky and i want to get a lot of fruit so that is it um before you do your first and only heavy pruning the second time is just going to be to cut leaves in two if they start to hang too low make sure that you feed them well so that they can bounce right back from this stress and not feel it too much and tomorrow we have a good rain shower coming in which is great because rain is going to bring more nitrogen on the plants and what do nit does nitrogen do it's going to stimulate more foliar growth so this is going to get nice and full again in about two to three weeks it's not going to look like i took half the leaves off the plant they're going to full right back up and I'll probably do a video to show you what they look like at that time. So that is it. Happy gardening, everybody. And God bless. Bye-bye.